got really um, emotional, I think, watching our last three, three routines of the championship for our three seniors. And we went beam, floor, and back to beam. And, you know, these, these ladies have set this program in a position to compete for four national championships and have won two. So, um, you know, it's hard to believe that their career is over. I'm not sure how they did it because I can tell you we don't practice three days in a row hard like that with hard tumbling and they actually went four days in a row because we had the practice day here. That was just on fumes and uh, you know our strength coach Stephen Buckner he has done an amazing job and you could see that those ladies were physically strong and they handled the four days. They're representing the university in our program and they, and they just they, they say they're not tired, you know, they, they're going on fumes and uh, I think probably I'm, I'm a little bit more tired than, than they are. They, they probably had a little bit more sleep. So, Kimmy, I, I don't even remember a time when she's fallen, I can't recall the last time and I think sometimes you, you know, you just put a lot of pressure on yourself and, and that's not normally Kim, so, uh, you know, Kim needs to be remembered for all the All-American honors she has, being the all-around champion, and uh, what she's led this program to in the last four years, because she's the best of the best. Going off my senior year winning was um, amazing, and I'll remember that forever, but um, having that great meet the night before and then messing up at Super 6, it was definitely, I had the highs and the lows of the meet, but things happen, and Overall, it's been an amazing year for the team. The team was amazing last night. Um, I was definitely upset after falling on beam just for not helping the team get as high as we could. But um, they all just had my back and they supported me. And this morning I came out here just to finish my career strong. Floor was absolutely amazing. We've been um, improving our floor every meet this year. And really, we just went out there and peaked at this meet. I have never seen a better floor rotation. I'm so proud of my team. Getting through floor wasn't that hard. <laughs> Waking up this morning was a little more difficult. I'm definitely feeling it. And tomorrow, I'm going to be having a hard time getting up. But um, just having the adrenaline and all the fans here it just helps out. What was hurting when you woke up this morning? <laughs> my whole body. <laughs> I mean, I've had the highs and lows of this meet, so really I just want to take away the team that I've built and the family that I have now forever. I will always be a part of the Alabama family, and my teammates have supported me through it all, and um, I'm just proud of the career I had. We went out there and killed it on the first three events, and, you know, it just didn't come together for us last night, but I love every memory I've made with this team this year. It's the closest we've ever been, and I don't regret any of it. Honestly, just to make that floor routine. Um, I went to Sarah and David about it last night, and they said they'd sleep on it, and if I warmed up good, that they would let me do the full in. And, you know, I don't even know if I was looking to win. Of course, you always want to win, but um, I just wanted to accomplish that because we had talked about doing it earlier in the fall, and I couldn't make it through the season with it. I think it's just our endurance from the whole season. We know we can get up there even when we're tired and make those floor routines. Um, it's just the hard practice that we've put in. Me and Kim both made mistakes and it was a little bit devastating obviously. Um, we wanted to go out there and take the championship on our, our last night as a team but you know we have her back always and we're still going to love her. It's, it's never going to change anything. It was great to have that time with the seniors and um, just get to compete on the floor with them one last time. I think we did a great job just coming in here and having fun on the last day of competition and I know it was really special for them and I was just so glad to be a part of it. Oh, of course. It was awesome going up there and hearing everyone screaming when our names were announced and afterwards. It's pretty electric and they, we always have such great fans. We all just came together and we're like, this is such a special group of girls and uh, we really just wanted to appreciate the fact that we are such a close team and our bond is so amazing that we, I mean, of course it's sad, but we always have next year, and it was just great to experience this this year with this group of girls, and so that's always what we're going to look back on, not what happened that night. The legacy is going to be that, you know, they, they laid it all on the line. They've competed for championships for four straight years. Someone reminded me that in all four of those championships, it came down to the last routine, basically. And... Um, you know, I think what they have done for this program, um, they've, they've just set a standard and those freshmen, sophomores and juniors, they have the best role models that they could possibly have leading on to the next couple years of their career. 
Well, we're getting another great freshman class in. Our juniors are going to be stepping it up as seniors. We're really looking forward to have Kayla back. That's going to be um, a great addition to all of our routines. And um, going to keep training, get more consistent. We'll continue to peak at the right time like we always do. I wouldn't say it's pressure. Um, of course, we feel it sometimes, but we pretty we thrive off of it. It's uh, it's pretty easy to come out here and compete for such great fans too. So. Um, whenever we, we rise to the occasion and get the job done.